We're now going to move into the inside. And what I've done today, I've actually set the appliances up to demonstrate everything working to you. So when you get onto the inside of the caravan, or should I say motorhome, you have got your main control panel above the door. On the bottom right hand corner you've got the master power button, so that's got to be turned on for all the 12 volt system to work. On the left hand side you've got your water pump switch, just there. That's the interior lighting. That's the interior dimmer lights, the mood lighting, and that one is the awning light outside. Now if you look on the right hand side, you've got some arrows going up and down. So this is, at the moment I've got it on the dimmer level, so this is the interior mood lighting. And you can adjust the brightness of this lighting, as you can see, from using that select arrow. Heater settings, now this is always set to manual, unless you want to download the Swift Command app, in which case you'll select app. Leisure battery, that's showing how much voltage in the leisure battery. The solar panel. AC limit. So this is actually, you have the option of setting a limit to what hookup ampage you will use. That's ideal for if you're on a low amp site. Internal temperature, and then back to the dimmer lights. So when you first set the vehicle up, you wanna turn the pump on, and then move over to one of the taps and draw the water through. And what you're looking for is a steady flow of water through hot and through cold. You may have some air in the system, and obviously it will take a few moments to fill the onboard immersion heater. So as long as you've got that steady flow of water, you are primed and ready to go. You can then go to the Truma control panel. Now the Truma control panel does the heating and hot water system. To activate it, you press the power button, and then you've got room temperature, hot water, the power source you want the system to run on, and the fan speed for the heater. So we'll start with power source. You scroll the wheel till it starts flashing and press the button and you've got the options of gas only. Mix one and mix two are using gas and electric combined or electric only one and two. So the idea of that is if you're in summer and you don't have the heating on or you have the heating on low, you can have it on electric only. If it's in winter time, you probably want it on the mix settings to boost the system using the gas bottle. But for now, I'm gonna select electric only. The difference is one and two is one kilowatt of electric and two kilowatts of electric. The hot water, you press the button and you've either got off, eco or hot. Hot is 70 degrees, so once the water reaches 70 degrees, it turns off. Eco is 40 degrees. So just press the button. And then you've got the room temperature, and it's just a matter of pressing the button and scrolling to your desired internal temperature. Now remember, it is a combi unit, so if you put heating and hot water together, you've got to remember that that power source is then being split. It would focus on getting you warm over your heating system. The symbols at the top will continue to flash until they've reached the desired temperature. If you don't want the heating on, press the heating symbol and go all the way to off. If you don't want the hot water on, press the hot water and turn it off. If you want to turn the whole thing off together, press and hold that middle button and after a few moments you'll get off. And that's the heating and hot water. 
On the kitchen area, we've got the fridge. Caravan fridges and motor home fridges run on three power sources, mains, gas, and the vehicle when you are driving along. So they've got a main power button, like so. As you can see, I've got it on the mains hook up. You've got the gas. Now it is self-igniting. That will automatically light on gas. If it doesn't light, it will start to flash and beep. And you'd press the triangle to reset the system, as explained there. Usually happens if the gas bottle hasn't has run out. There's the vehicle battery setting. Now that's not working because the vehicle's not started. To adjust the temperature, you just press the thermostat like so. And that's the fridge. To the right of that, we've got the cooking facilities. All purely gas on this model. You've got a 12 volt sparker. And then just push in and light, like so. There's your rear one. And then the front one. There we go. And underneath, it's a combination grill and oven. So if you turn the valve to the right, that's the grill. As you can see. Below that is the oven. When using the grill, make sure that deflector is pulled out. It stops the controls from getting hot. And just above that, you've got your microwave. Now it's common sense says you have to be on an electric hookup for that to work. More than that, it's a normal domestic 800 watt microwave. In the bathroom, again, we have a combination vanity tap and shower unit. There's a lever on the top to open up like so, and just turn the tap on. And as you can see, it's a very good flow rate. The shower hooks up just there. The cassette toilet, before you can use the cassette toilet, you have to open the trap door. That's a lever directly at the front, just here. Pull that to one side to open the trap door, and then the flush, you just press the blue button. And as, as long as you're holding it, it flushes. It runs off the onboard water system, so there's no need for using the pink chemicals anymore. A red light will come on just there when it needs emptying outside. Remember to close the flap when you're done. Under the bed, there's your boiler and on the floor a yellow tap. Now that taps for draining the onboard boiler, the hot water system. You'd lift that tap up vertically, drain the system and it needs to be horizontal like it is now to run the system. You've also got your table for the front and again the cushions for making a front seat bed up. Now in the wardrobe we've got the exterior shower point, the additional support for the front that's just the box for the rear view camera, the owner's manuals, and the double TV bracket for the wall. Up there we've got the status aerial, which can be manipulated from inside the caravan by turning the dial, and by undoing the collar at the top, and lifting it up. Now when you're driving along, do make sure it's showing H for horizontal, and that it is pointing forwards. And locked off. The blue light indicates that the status aerial is activated. Now the final thing to show you on the inside or underneath the front seats. So we'll start with the passenger side. Now under the passenger, passenger side seat we've got the shade for the, well I should say the blind for the front windscreen and the consumer unit. Now on the consumer unit, you've got a very important button. It's this one, it's the system shutdown button. If you are putting the vehicle into storage, you must 
turn that off it needs to be out otherwise it will drain the leisure battery when you're using the vehicle it's in you've also got your battery charger switch and your heating and hot water switches they're isolators they can be left on all the time because as soon as the mains cable is removed they go out got your trip switches and your fuses And moving to the other side, we have under this flap the fresh water tank. And to drain the fresh water tank, you unscrew this and lift it up, and you'll notice there's a chain because if you pull it, it takes the bung out. And that's emptying onto the floor outside. That concludes the tutorial for the motorhome. If you do have any queries, by all means, give our customer support team on 0159 387 240. But other than that, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.